हरे कृष्णा वी रेयरली डू थिंग्स विदाउट अ रीजन बट रीजन इज रेयरली बिहाइंड बिहाइंड थिंग्स वी डू इवन वेन समवन डज समथिंग स्टूपिड समथिंग अटरली रिडिक्यूलस आउटरेजियस हॉरेंडस दे कैन ऑलवेज कम अप विथ सम रीजन फॉर वाई डी डिड इट so whatever anyone does there is always some reason for it now the word reason can refer to some cause you know this is the reason i did this but reason can also refer to the faculty for reasoning for sound thinking so we all can give a uh, some cause to justify what we are doing but whether that cause that explanation can withstand sustained logical scrutiny whether that reason makes sense is something which is open to question sometimes when we do something and somebody asks us why did you do that and then we give an explanation and that time while giving the explanation itself we realize hey, this is stupid This doesn't make sense. Uh, actually, quite often when somebody asks us for an explanation, that's the very time we understand that was nonsense. I shouldn't have done that. But somehow we do it. So the point here is that uh, our mind and our subtle body, including our intelligence, they become servants of our desires, and they can justify whatever we are doing. but that doesn't mean that whatever we are doing is justified so the, the bhagavad gita talks about intelligence in the mode of ignorance uh, this is 1832 adharmam dharmam itiya manyate tamasa vrata sarvarthan viparitamscha buddhi sa partha tamasi he says adharmam dharmam itiya Uh, so to think that that which is wrong is right manyate tamasavrata those who are covered by the mode of ignorance think like this sarvarthan viparitamscha in this way in every way what they are doing is viparit is actually completely opposite of the reality and such is the intelligence in ignorance so Uh, whenever we do something rather than thinking of giving a reason for what we do we need to focus on doing our best in whatever way we can and if we do our best then gradually things will work out at their own pace in their own way and we will move forward in our life so it's important for each one of us to not try to justify our desires but to actually evaluate and regulate our desires and for that's why we need scriptural guidance we need the guidance of those who are living according to scripture and by the such by such study of scripture our intelligence can rise out of ignorance and rise toward transcendence then the reasons that we give for the things that we do will be grounded in reason in sound reason in transcendental reason and that will take us to ultimate auspiciousness thank you hare krishna